Hey guys, Introspection here, and today I'm going to be discussing the dangers of dieting with you guys. No, I'm not trying to discourage you from dieting, in fact quite the opposite, but I want you guys to know the things that are required to make sure that you're not counterproductive to the improvement of your own health. I also know that a lot of you guys are not dieting or even considering it in the future, and in which case I still recommend that you sit through the video as you could find potentially a few facts that can help you out or even just have the information in your head. I'm also going to be discussing as to why you might want to consider dieting even if you're not necessarily overweight. Now the first thing I'm going to be discussing is counting calories. Please do not just count calories. I mean yes count calories but don't just count calories. See what happens a lot of times is that people will focus only on counting calories and will lose weight but they will neglect to nourish themselves otherwise and the other things their body actually needs and it can be detrimental to their health. In fact, you can focus so much on that one thing or any one thing that you can get to the point, and people have done this, where you can eat just junk food and lose weight. Yes, that is possible, but not a very good idea because as we know, junk food is not what you need to maintain your health. It is not enough of everything that you actually need, the nutrients and the proteins that you need to maintain yourself. And what will happen is if you neglect to get all these other vitamins and proteins and nutrients into your body and forget about all those things and just focus on the calories, yeah, there's a good chance that you're going to lose a lot of weight, but you might also not be around very much longer to enjoy that fact. So just when you're creating your diet, do not neglect to include everything your body actually needs to operate. Don't just consider how many calories are in a meal. Make sure the meal has enough to sustain you. Next, you're going to think I'm crazy. I know. But what you want to make sure you do is not lose too much weight at once. Now, I know you're thinking I'm a crazy person. But just hear me out. I got, just hear me out. There's reasons for this. So the first thing is that oftentimes will be a result of your massive weight loss is, well, not providing yourself enough with enough of, well, any particular thing that is that you actually need. You might not be able to eat enough or rather you're not eating enough, which results in your drastic weight loss. The other thing that can often happen is that you will have the drastic weight loss and essentially your body does exactly the opposite of what you want it to do. It sort of goes, ah, I'm freaking out, bro. I'm freaking out. I think I'm going to die because what it's doing is it's considering this massive weight loss not as a good thing, but it's thinking, ah, shoot, man, there's no more food around. I got to start trying to keep myself alive. And that's how your body is going to interpret the situation. Not, okay, not always, but that that's what oftentimes happens. And then, of course, the other thing that will be a result of, of the drastic weight loss is a very drastic lifestyle change. Now, yes, there are people who can make very, very drastic lifestyle changes and still maintain it. But on the other flip side of that is that a lot of people will end up making these drastic lifestyle changes, which will result in that drastic amount of weight loss, yes, but because they didn't slow into it, they didn't gradually get into that lifestyle, and it was sort of just a shock, what happened is that because their body and mind are not used to it, they'll just go back to how they were living before, and then lose all the work they did to lose that giant massive amount of weight. Now the general rule of thumb, averaged out, is like 2-3 to three pounds a week that you should lose, but don't stick yourself to that number. Because everybody's weight and body is very different. So you might have one pound. It might be half a pound. It might be four pounds. It really just depends on your body. And you should probably consider what your doctor says. In fact, just ask your doctor about all of this. Okay, because yeah, this is all good information. And for the most part, it should work. But your body is very, very unique. Everybody's body is very different. So you need to have somebody who really understands your body to make sure that any necessary adjustments can be made. For instance, you might need more of one vitamin than everybody else because your body is different. You might be need more exercise or less exercise because your body's different. The variables are pretty much infinite, or at least as close as to infinite as we can possibly get. So, yes don't stick yourself to that number that's the general idea two to three but so long as you're consistently dropping weight 
and in small portions, that that's generally a good sign. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible to lose a drastic amount of weight at once, but you really, really need to know what you're doing. You need to be like professional level, know what you're doing. Because if you don't, then it can be very detrimental to your health. So generally speaking, you kind of want to focus on just losing bits at a time as opposed to a giant mass at once. Again, it is possible, but you need to make sure you at the very least have somebody who really knows what the heck they're talking about. Otherwise, it can be kind of bad for you. Next is if you don't have an overweight body or you have a body that you're content with. And that's a really good thing. But even if you're not overweight, you still might want to consider dieting. And what I mean by this is that it is possible to have a lean body or a slim body or even a very big muscular body and not be eating very well, which is very bad for your health. So you might not want a diet that's tailored to helping somebody lose weight, but you might want a diet that switches the bad things that you're eating for better things or making a diet that makes your diet more balanced. You might be getting way too much protein and not enough calcium throughout your diet. Or you might not be getting enough grains. The The possibilities, depending on how you're currently eating, are, again, almost infinite, or at least it's close to infinite as we can possibly comprehend. Probably infinite, to, in all honesty. But it, it could be a number of things, and you need to make sure that whatever it is you're eating, it's balanced and it's good for your body. So, again... Consider a diet doesn't necessarily need to be something that helps you lose weight. It can just be something that helps you transition into something that will help your body maintain a better, healthier state and thus prolonging the chances of you living longer. Next is drugs. This one is called DNP and it is horrible for you. It's one of the common ones that you can find online and a lot of people end up suffering massive damage from this thing. It will, yes, help you lose a very large amount of weight at once and rather easily. So people sort of think it's a miracle drug at first, but then they end up in the hospital or worse. They don't make it to the hospital. This thing can be very, very deadly for you. And unfortunately, it's not the only one out there. There are a lot of drugs that are very convincing and compelling, especially if you've been struggling with this kind of thing, to take. But it can be very, very bad for you. Do not take any drugs like this without consulting your doctor first. It, e even if it's an over-the-counter... I mean, I don't think that there are any over-the-counter drugs like this that are meant for dieting. Maybe supplements, yes, but no drugs that I know of. But even if there is one and you manage to find it, do not take it without consulting your doctor. I mean, don't do any of the stuff I just told you without consulting your doctor. But this one, really important, do consult your doctor about. And it, it can be very convincing. You see it, there's a fair amount of logic and what seems to be sound science behind it. Some of it might be science that's very that's been proven for in actuality. But it won't provide you with everything convincing you that it can be very harmful. So even if you see these things that say, oh, miracle diet pill, or oh, lose all the weight fast, do not take any of them willy-nilly. Make sure your doctor takes a look at them. Again, this one is not the only one, but this is one of the popular ones that you can find throughout the internet that's really easy to get your hands on, but it is deadly. Do not take take it without... Or take any drug. Do not take any drug, especially these kinds, without consulting your doctor first. And the last piece of advice I have for you guys. What will often happen is that people will get so caught up in how they look, how muscular they are. And really, yes, that's, that's, that's a good goal. There's nothing wrong with making your body stronger or having more muscle. There's nothing wrong with that. But your number one priority needs to be your health. You should be thinking, the number one thing that you should be thinking when trying to figure out how to go about a diet is not, oh, what's going to make me look better? Or, oh, what's going to make me lose weight? It should be, what is the healthiest option for me? Everything else should be second to that. You need to make sure that when making your diet or choosing a diet plan, 
that the first thing you're thinking about and the first thing you're making sure that everything checks out with is your health. Yes, again, other things are great, but health number one. Do not start a diet without having that at the top of your list. Well guys, that's it for this video. Before I go, I want to say that I'm doing a Hispanic History Month social media event similar to the Black History Month I was doing a couple months ago. I will leave a link to that video down in the description as well. But essentially what I'm doing is I am posting about a Spanish history hero, somebody who's done something pretty awesome but nobody knows about. And I'm going to be doing that for each day of the entire Spanish History Month. Similarly to how I did it for Black History Month. If you guys have any suggestions as to who should be sponsored, or not sponsored, but rather who should be shown in my special event, then go ahead and leave it down in the comment below. Just make sure that it is a person who is Spanish, as it is Hispanic History Month, and make sure it is a person that is not very well known. The whole point of the, the event is to try to get recognition uh, to those people who were unfairly cast aside even though they did some pretty extraordinary things that benefited us, ev benefited just about everybody in the long run. Well guys, that is it for the video. Again, if you have any suggestions, any comments on the video or how I can make myself better or just want to tell me how great of a job I did, certainly don't mind that either, leave it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you can get that notification in the next two weeks. Until then, hear nothing and listen to all. Bye guys.